Hi everyone and thank you for watching VC Dial training series. If this is the first video that you are watching, first of all welcome. I'm Omid and I try to extend my knowledge in voice over IP and call centers by teaching what I have learned in my day to day job. I started with VC Dial and I will extend teaching other platforms such as FreePVX, Camellio, etc. So if you are interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. This is part 12 of my VC Dial training series. In this part, I want to show you how we can run an inbound call center using VC Dial. I highly recommend you to watch previous videos. But in this video, I will start from scratch for VC Dial inbound group setup. So you really don't need to know a lot about VC Dial. If you have installed the VC box and you know how to access the admin UI and also Linux CLI or Astrid CLI, you are good to go for this training. So let's see what we will cover in this video. I will first show you how does inbound call center works and what you will achieve after you have run the inbound call center in VC Dial. I think it's better to see what you want to achieve first before we go into the configurations. Then we go to the configurations. First we need to create groups. Then we need to create a campaign. I assume that you have not created a campaign before in the VC Dial as well. So you have installed the VC box and you just log into the admin. This is the next step. So first we create a group, then we create and set up a campaign. Then we need to create and set up an in-group. Then we need to detect and set up the DID. Actually, uh, you need to set up the DID, but sometimes it's a little tricky because uh, when you are getting a number from your provider, the format that the provider sends to you uh, may not be the same as what you are expecting. So it's better to uh, know how you can detect the DID format in your Astra CLI. And of course, then you can set up the DID and you will have your own uh, inbound call center using the VCDial. So let's go and start by inbound call center demo. In order to answer the incoming calls, agents need to log into the agent panel. So let's log in. The first uh, login is phone login. The second one is the user login. I have created this. I hope uh, you know how to do it or watch the previous videos. And I select my POC campaign. Of course, my phone will ring, my soft phone. I will answer it. You are currently the only person in this conference. This is the standard procedure for logging to a VCDL campaign. And then here I have in group. In group is like a queue or uh, a group that we can assign for receiving incoming calls. So I need to select it because I want to answer the incoming call and submit. So by default, because it's a inbound call center and it's an inbound campaign, I'm paused. If I'm in the pause mode and someone calls the call center, let me call. So by default, the call goes to the queue. Because I'm paused, of course the call won't connect to me. If I was active or if I make myself active right now, as I make myself active, the call will connect uh, to the agent and pay attention, it has a color, green, because we can set this color and you can see the number of the uh, color, this is my mobile number, and also what DID they have called. It's our DID, thanks to orencloud.com. If you are in Malaysia and you want a DID, then our website is the best. So go to our website, orencloud.com, and then get a DID uh, for your testing. So uh, this is it. This is how an inbound call center is working. Let's go and see how we can configure such a system. By default, when you are installing VCDL, it has one default user group. 
you can see it in the user groups. So log in as admin and then select user groups. You can see the admin user group is already there. But it's better to create a separated user group for each campaign because you have more flexibility to limit access for the users. So uh, log into the admin panel, select user groups, then add a new user group, and give it a name. Here, for example, I give it a name as POCUG. And uh, means POC user group. So ID POC UG and description POC UG. Submit. For now, you don't need to change anything on the user group. We will come back to the user group later again. Next step is to set up an inbound campaign. Select campaigns, add a new campaign. Give it an ID, POC for example, give it a name, a description. Here you can select the user group that we have created. Uh, you can set, you can change the next agent call. If you don't know what are they, you can click here and read about different policies. And also we want it to be 24 hours and submit. After we have created the campaign, Go back to the basic and change the dial method to inbound man. Means we want to receive incoming calls as well and submit. Also, you need to set at least two more options here. Go to detail view and select allow inbound and blended. Set it as yes because uh, if you don't set this, you can't receive any incoming calls. And also search for no lead or search for hopper. And change this option to yes. Allow no hopper leads login. So we are able to log into the campaign even without loading the customer's information or, cut or leads to the system. And submit. That's it for the campaign right now. Next step is creating an in-group. In order to do that, select inbound, and here you can see all in-groups. Click add a new in-group, give it an ID, a name, a color. This is the color that uh, if you remember during the demo, I showed you that it's green. So we can select different colors for different DIDs. For example, if I receive uh, an incoming call from number A, then I want to show it as green. Or if I receive as number B, I want to show as yellow. You can put color codes here as well. And our user group, POC user group, and we submit. After we have creating, you will see that uh, it says not set as allowed in any campaigns. It means that we have not assigned this in group to any campaign. So we need to go back to our campaigns. Select the POC campaign that we have created. Select detail view. And scroll down to the end of the page. Here you can see another option appears here. Allowed inbound groups. And select the user group that we have created. If you want to, if you want users to be able to transfer to each other, you can select the, uh, the same group as transfer group as well but this is not necessary if you don't have any transfer the only option that is necessary here is a load inbound group and submit last step is to set up the did so select inbound and here you have the dids add a new did and put your did the number that uh, the provider provides for you and uh, the DID description and select the POC user group. Sometimes then you are not sure about the format of this inbound DID. So I want to show you how it will look like uh, and how you can detect this uh, format. In order to do that, you need to log into the, uh, you need to SSH to your VC box, 
So here I log into my VisaBox server and run asterisk-r and call the DID because you already have the trunk. As you can see, I didn't set up the DID yet. And I'm hearing that the number is not in service. But here you can detect the format of the number that is sending to you. So log into the uh, Linux, run asterisk r command, and call the DID. From the logs, you can see what number is sending to you. So uh, we define the DID extension, DID description, and I click setup. Here I need to route this DID. So I want to route this DID to the in-group that I have created recently. So I will change the DID route to in-group and then here I need to select which in-group ID I want to send to. I want to send to the POC in-group that I have just created and submit. That's it. You have set up an inbound call center. You can log in now to the agent panel and make yourself active and you are able to receive the calls. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is useful. If it is useful and you like the video, please hit the like button. Thank you.